Hello, my name is Grace and welcome to my space. Right, that's your intro. Ever since the queens, Solgi and Irene, came out with Monster, I have been gagged. I have been, I have been transported back to 2017, receiving red flavor, not deserving red flavor, but receiving red flavor. That's what I, that's, that, that's, that's what the queens did. That's, they, 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 they yep. Yeah. And so I'm going to recreate their look and chat in this week's episode of Lockdown Looks. Lockdown Looks, AKA me doing looks while I'm on lockdown because the world is ending. Do, 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 do. Let's just, just jump right in, I guess. So I'm specifically going to recreate Solgi's look because I can do what I want. Um, naturally, so let's get the disclaimers out the way. Uh, there's a couple things separating me from ever looking like Solgi. I can't sing. JK, I can. I'm not Korean. And I don't want to be Korean. I'm not trying to be Korean. I'm a Black girl who enjoys multiple things at once. Multifaceted. Whoop. So, for anybody hops in my mentions, like, me, me, me. No. I'm just doing makeup. I'm going to chat unsolicitedly because I can't leave my house. And at this point, even if I could leave my house, would I really want to? For anybody else at me, I will not leave this video looking like Sulky, but I will leave it inspired by Sulky. Huzzah! Brows, like her brows are like thick and kind of faded and not super filled in. So my natural brows, great. Let's just skip right to <laughs> So, So what I'm working with, great. Hopping in with my elf. I, I like every time I forget what this is called, the elf putty eye primer. I don't like it, but it's cheap. So as to not bore you with the minor details, I'm just gonna like skip to like the fun part, but I'm gonna prime my lids with this. Cool, cool. Side note, completely unrelated. I've been bleaching things to feel something. And this jacket, I bleached this jacket. <laughs> the video I watched that was like gonna teach me how to do it said it would take three hours. This took 12, so, right? But then I threw some Harry Potter patches that my boss from college got me. It still smells like bleach and I'm choking on it, but it's cute and it's cute. Like I have a snitch on my wrist. Stop. I have a snitch on my wrist. Iconic. Anyways, let me prime my eyelids. I'll be back. Eyelids primed. Eyelids are primed. Okay, so let me bring you in. Yes. Come in, my children. Can I be seen? Is it still HD? Hey there, demons. It's me. Yeah, boy. I kept the <laughs> primer really close to my lashes because Solgi's look, this is the look we're recreating or like going to attempt. And it's already going to be really difficult because like our eyes are literally so different. So this is the look we're going to recreate it. We're going to recreate it with like a twist, you know, like... Am I in red velvet yet? No. Yeah, I figured. The reason I was like, I saw the video and I was like, I have to do this look. I do not remember the last time I did anything smoky eyes. Well, why? I do not remember the last time I did like a black smoky eye because I used to be terrified of doing those things because I felt like it made me a raccoon. And you know, I may end this video looking like a raccoon, but I would have been a sulky inspired raccoon. So like, can I complain? No. No, I cannot. Realistically, I know I should probably start with my face first and then do my eyeshadow last. However, I don't even really do that when I'm using like brown eyeshadow. I'm about to use a black. So we're not gonna do that now. I might like wait to smoke out my under eye until I've done my face. But in terms of like, Juvia's plays, why do your shadows break up like it's their career to do so? Why is the shade that I need to use on my floor? Why is this palette only one month old and it has broken more dreams than the pan? So I'm gonna take this brush and I'm going to dip it in this shade and I'm just gonna, it's like my shade and I'm just going to layer that everywhere on my lid. I'm just laying this so that I have like the perfect base. And now, 
I'm going to come in with the liner. Now I have so many feelings about doing this liner. One, how? I'm so bad at liner. I'm, it's not like a clean line though. Most of the eyeshadow is going on underneath and it's very smudged out. So let's come in and see what we can do, knowing that that's the case. And when I get to the end, I'm literally splotching it. I'm just gonna splotch it. So it's not like a clean line at the end. It's just splotchy, splotchy. Okay, that's done. Honestly, this might be maybe the easiest makeup look I've ever done. It's just because I, it's like, a really simple makeup look of things that I've been avoiding since I was 12 because I don't like to look like I'm a raccoon. And I already kind of feel a little raccoony with how big my eyes are. Mm. But again, you do what you have to do for Sulky and Irene. Okay, just to make it a little bit fun for me, I'm coming in with this. I'm coming in with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. And I'm going to add a little sparkle on top of it. Speaking of sparkle, speaking of red velvet, speaking of Irene and Tony, it's time for sleeping for this comeback. Like Monster literally took my braids individually, one braid at a time, unraveled them one braid at a time, threw them, detangled them, bought a whole new pack of hair, and then put them back on my head. Burnt the ends of it, everything. That's what Monster did to me. Gave me a whole new look. Gave me a whole new output on life. I feel like I've had this blessing for half my life while also having it since last night. Like this song has simultaneously um, been in my life for eight years and not at all. It's been what exactly four weeks since it came out. It's been played. Like, you know how you can check like, oh, what song am I listening to the most? It's been played more than all the songs I listened to combined last year. Like I open Apple Music and Spotify and the first thing that shows up is Monster and they're just like, you you want to hit play, right? And I'm like, well, well, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. The girls, the vocals, the looks, everything. And they're just like, like those two are just so unproblematic. Like people who don't like Soul Gate, I mean, I'm just kind of like, it's because you don't like yourself. That's it. What did, what did Namjoon say? Love yourself. Let's start the face. So naturally from my face, I want a finish that is as like natural as possible, like me, but better, you know? Like you might not be able to tell on camera because now you can definitely tell my skin is a mess right now. So um, I'm going in with my Dior. This is my favorite foundation and I've been trying to make it I've been trying to make it last for me because I'm like broke now in quarantine and like it's like the lack of weight it's okay because I only need a couple dots to get what I'm doing but I'm like you know what my birthday's coming up in like two months so all I gotta do is wait and then beg every single person I know to buy me Dior at 7.5 warm and so that way I'll be left with like 50 bottles and I'll never run out and everything will be okay okay <laughs> Spiral concealer. I'm gonna come in with my Innisfree Velvet Cover Concealer. It's like gives me a really good coverage while also being like super light and it's the right color and all that good stuff. So yeah, that that's the concealer I'm gonna wear. Is anybody like is anybody have like immigrant parents and you just find that like their conversational voice is that is anyone else's yelling voice? Like right now I can't, my mom could be yelling at my dad, but I'm almost positive. They're just having a casual conversation. Yeah, they're talking about like everyday things. <laughs> oh, I love being Ghanaian. All right. <sighs> so I'm gonna let my concealer sit for a bit on my face so it can give me a little bit extra coverage. Learn that from Auntie Jackie. So, why don't we do that? Let's talk girl comebacks this summer. Um, I feel like I've been just like sat in my room thinking like the girls are really doing it. Well, the girls have always been doing it, but I feel like the girls are really getting attention in like more of like an international sense. Like I've had more of like my locals and my just everyday friends 
talk about girl groups and engage with girl k-pop more than like i have my whole life like i mean we all gonna talk about the boys you know we can talk about my boys you know we can talk about them but everybody talks about them so it's really nice that like you know suddenly people are like oh what song is that and i can be like a pink and they're like Ooh, who's a pink let me learn about them and i'm like <laughs> you care also speaking of girls sun me Sun me, girl, who gave you the right to give us a song of the summer in a global pandemic where I can't be outside with the windows down, blast it. That's crazy. That's okay though, because I'm a blast from my house. Anyways, let me blend that, this out. <laughs> Just for a little bit extra of coverage, I'm gonna come in with my e.l.f. concealer right there. Just a little bit of extra coverage right there. So really quickly before I set the rest, do the rest of my face, I'm gonna set my eye. I'm coming in with Sasha, uh, Sasha Buttercup in Banana. Now that my powder's on, it's always like the struggle to not add too much powder anytime I do that and I always fail. I'm always like drowning in powder by the end of that. Okay. Now it's time to come underneath the eyes and like actually make this look what the look is. Please God, don't let me end up being a raccoon. Even if I am a raccoon, let me please be a cute raccoon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you in Jesus' name. Enough. <sighs> Everyone take this as a lesson. If you try to become soggy, realize you're not soggy and give up. I can fix it. It's me being like, I can fix that. I can fix that. I can fix that. Internally being like, you know, there's no fixing this. Okay, so we're gonna come in with the same brush that I did my concealer, and we're gonna attempt to cover up all the mistakes. I wanna be red velvet. I don't wanna be crime scene investigation. You know, that's 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 what I'm going for. Honestly, honestly, I think I fixed it. Right? Like, this is giving me, like, punched in the face. This is giving me Cleopatra. Why? <laughs> and none of them are giving me so gay. Yeah. It's literally happening exactly how. Then I say, I was like, this is going to be one of the simplest makeup looks that gives me all the crap. All the crap. If anyone needed evidence that I'm not an MUA, I guess you don't need that evidence anymore. I'm a monster, she said. Meaning it metaphorically, me turning into an actual monster physically. Uh. <laughs> I'm sure somebody like made a tutorial on how to do this properly that I could be watching and like learning from. Instead, I'm making my own self suffer. So, everything I didn't want for myself is happening. I was like, oh, I don't want to be a raccoon. Raccoon. Oh, I don't want to do look like what is that? Like the hamburglar? The hamburglar. This look makes my eyes look very sad. This look makes my eyes look so sad. Like I've seen it all. Am I giving y'all bad boy vibes? Am I? Please say yes. No? True. Okay. So now that that's nice and ugly, let me come in with this black that has fallen apart from the Juvia's place and see if I can darken where I need it to be darkened. This is just honestly a very editorial look. That's what I'm telling myself. Okay, we are back now. Um, This is not the final product, but this is what we have so far. Eyelashes deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. Honestly, there is a time that I never wear lashes and I never want to go back to them because that's the dark age ages because I really think I might have saved this look just by eyelashes alone. So we're going to find out for sure. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then we're going to come talk lips. Okay. Be right back. We are back. It's time to do, I did like a little bit of bronzer and you probably can't see it on camera, but trust me, in person, you can see my bronzer. Even more importantly, you can see my little bit of blush. Now, she's not wearing any highlighter in her look, but I'm going to because yeah, I can, it's a free country, but I want to wear like the, l l l l l l l 
words. I'm gonna wear the Night and Shine <laughs> highlighter from Glossier. It's a liquid highlighter, so I, th and it's generally normally like my go-to for when I don't, w I wanna be wearing a highlighter, but I don't want you to be looking like I'm wearing a lot, so like all the time. Even though it's liquid, it actually plays really, 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 really nicely with powder underneath it. So that's nice. Like it doesn't destroy the makeup underneath. Let's hop in and do lips. I'm black. So <laughs> if you're now learning this, this far into the video, maybe you just can see me. I'm black. Um, And so because of that, the pink she's wearing like, I'm not even gonna play myself. She's wearing like a Barbie, Barbie doll pink, a shade of pink that I got rid of all of my versions of it because I said, you know, makeup is for everybody, but this one's not for you. It's just what it is. That being said, I'm gonna use a combination of a bunch of like lip products that I have to try to get that same effect, but on me. Okay, to start. So I'm gonna come in with this Auto Lip NK line, makeup liner thing. Beauty supply stuff, you know what I mean. I'm gonna come in with the Bahama Beige from Milani. It's my favorite nude lipstick, period. I feel like it's discontinued because, well, maybe not discontinued, but I can't find it on their website. So if anybody has access to Bahama Beige, it could tell me what's going on. Is it discontinued Milani, please? I'm gonna go with this like pink gloss that I got at like a Christmas thing in a set i'm going to go around the center of the bahama beige it's glittery but it's pink leaving the center alone i'm coming in with the petite gloss bar from holika holika i think those are no tony moly petite gloss bar from tony moly it is that barbie pink but it comes out um sheer ish right in the center It comes out sheer until you build it up. Then it becomes that shade of pink. So I'll be wearing. Finally, I'm gonna take this lip brush that I have from Amazon and I'm just gonna blend them all together. And as a result, I am left with the black girl version of the lip that Solgi has. Let's spray my face. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. It's too much. Honestly, I definitely sprayed my face too much there. So let's take this and mat it down. So my face is done. This is the result. Let's put on my Solgi inspired outfit and see if that gives us more of the vibes. Be right back. So we're back and this is the final look. Um, I cleaned up a little bit underneath the eyes because yes, I love Sulgi, but she can rock that look. I have my eyes cannot, so I cleaned up a little bit underneath. However, final verdict, let's zoom out. I had a blast. I mean, I don't really think I'm meant for the smoky black liner. I truly have not worn this type of look in years. I was surprised I just even managed to do a black liner. But regardless, I had a lot of fun. And I mean, the same way I started the video, I knew I was gonna end up soggy at the end of it. Anyways, I just, you know, but am I cute? Yeah. It, do I still look cute? Yeah. So am I mad at it? No. If you enjoyed today's lockdown look and you would like to see more lockdown looks, you should like and subscribe down below wherever that is left right whatever and you should also hit the notification bell ding 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 dong welcome to my space again thank you for joining me the world is going through a lot right now so if you are financially able to please donate to literally any cause that means a lot to you because people need it and yeah spread positivity be kind Bring dynamite when it comes out August 21st. Oh my gosh. I'm really ready for the look when that comes out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope, hopefully, y'all come back. And regardless, I'll be here chilling in my space because it's not my channel. 
it's grace's space bye <laughs>